Hi angels, how my loves, how you girls doing today? So today I have a Michael Kors reveal for you guys. I have a lot to go over with you girls and I figured we go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead. So today, and I wanted to talk about my new Michael Kors bag. I have been on a Michael Kors kick. I think all of us have, as well as a Juicy Couture kick. So for me, when the bags come in my area, and I'm sure it's the same for you girls as well. Lately, TJ Maxx and Marshalls has been getting a lot of Michael Kors bags, as well as Juicy Couture bags. And that's when I just go super crazy, you girls, and try to pick up some, because when they come in, they're a little bit cheaper. The prices are a little bit more affordable from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So today I just wanted to talk about my new bag and you see her right here. And it's the Michael Kors Cindy Dome Large Satchel. So this is the Michael Kors Large Cindy Dome Satchel. And I've already started using this baby, you guys. I've already started using her to work. And it's a really, really nice bag. Also, lately, I've really been into the color green. As you can see in my other Michael Kors bags right here, I've really been loving the color green. So I did notice while I was at TJ Maxx that this bag also came in a lovely green color. And it was basically the dark monogram Michael Kors MK Signature monogram print but instead of the berry because this one is in the lovely berry this color right here that you see that looks like a pink or a fuchsia is a lovely berry color that's what michael kors is calling this color and it also came he did it in green so i'm on the lookout for that bag i did see it when i purchased this bag but of course i didn't want to purchase two of the same bags not at the same time <laughs> however i am longing for the green color in my collection as well because I love this silhouette. It's a classic silhouette. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Alma in this dome silhouette. And as a matter of fact, I will come back and do a comparison to this bag and the Louis Vuitton Alma as well as the Dooney and Burke Zip Zip. They're basically the same bag just from different company to different company with this dome silhouette. So I will definitely come back and do that review and comparison. But for today, I just wanted to talk about it. And I also wanted to say that I love this berry, but I'm also going to go back and look out for that beautiful green, the one that was trimmed in the lovely green. So this bag measures, and I'm going to give you the measurements, as well as just a few more things I wanted to talk about today. So in length, this bag is about 13 inches long. So she's about 13 inches lengthwise and then height wise she can hold a lot i've already started using this bag for work so height wise she is about i would say about nine and a half inches long height wise tall and then let's do her width sideways her width is gonna be about at her largest point her width is about five inches wide so right here she is about five inches wide and she does have feet she does have feet and i this bag can hold a lot believe it or not this dome satchel they all can from the various brands from brand to brand as you skip from brand to brand like i said dunia burke louis vuitton and this lovely michael kors dome satchel what i like about her is she you know she has the zip but she also have you wouldn't be able to tell it now this one, unlike some of the other dome satchels by the other companies that I mentioned, unlike the Zip Zip satchel by Dooney and Burke and unlike the Louis Vuitton Alma, this not just being a dome satchel, but there's a secret pocket back here that goes the full length of the bag. So, you know, she has her interior compartment right there. And then she has the side pocket right here. She has a full side pocket. You see, I can get my hand down in there. It goes the full length of the bag. And that's always nice because then instead of entering the bag through the main zip compartment, you could slip your keys and your cell phone in this back compartment. And there's a snap stud there. And it's very easy. It has a magnetic snap stud. And the magnetic snap studs, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> are very good because the magnet pulls the two pieces together of the metal of the hardware. And then you don't have to struggle with it. It'll close very much on its own um and like i said i did start using this bag do i have my scissors in here because i want to go ahead and clip this tag out I, i've been using it you know 
Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, can I pop that? I don't wanna hurt my bag. <laughs> Let me see if I can pop it. <laughs> okay, I was able to get it. <laughs> Wasn't that hard. Okay, so she has the interior compartment. She has her card in there, her Michael Kors card. And then she has two other additional pockets and I feel something in this side. I feel something in the side pocket right there. Like I said, I started using this bag. Okay. I would have been looking all over for these. I have my work keys right here. And when I switch from bag to bag, I would have been looking all over for these to go to work. So have my work keys. I'm going to put that in my bag that I'm using for work currently. But that's the only other thing that I left in here accidentally that I had in here from the last time when I used this bag. I couldn't wait, you girls. I know like with this Blair satchel right here, I waited for you guys and I did the unboxing and reveal on camera. But this one, I wanted to start using her. So I started using her already for work. And like I said, I love this silhouette so much that I'm also gonna go ahead uh, and look for her in the green. I know she comes in the green because I look, I found her. I had found her, I had it in my hands, but I went with the berry at that time. And I have no regrets. I love the berry color but I do think I want her in the green because I think I'm doing something as well with the green Michael Kors bags. So I wanted to talk to you lovely ladies about that today, as well as some of you girls have been asking me about my coach hoop earrings. So I just wanted to talk about the differences in the hoop earrings. So I'm wearing the larger hoops, which have like a heavy rhinestone, or actually they're not rhinestone, they're pavés, just like Pandora makes the pavés, uh, pavé charms. Coach did these larger hoops with the rhinestone crystals that are pavés, and then the smaller ones have one little pavé in the O, in the O, in the O for Coach, in the alphabet, you know, in the letter O, they have one little pavé. But the the the, the, the difference in the sizes, you can see these are the this is the medium pair, and I used to wear the medium pair a lot, and then now I'm wearing the larger pair right here. So these are very, very nice earrings. And uh, dimension-wise, the diameter in the medium is two and a half. So the diameter in the medium one is two and a half. And let's see if I could get this out <laughs> so we can see the diameter in the large. And I'll have it somewhere here for you, or here. So the diameter in the lovely large, look at all those beautiful pavés. Those pavés are so pretty. I couldn't resist those. So the diameter in the large is three inches. So it's just a half an inch in the difference in the diameter of these two earrings. If you decide to go with the large in my right hand on your left side of the screen, or if you decide to go with the medium in my left hand on your right side of the screen, the difference in the diameter of the coach hoop earrings is a half inch. The medium hoops are two and a half inches in diameter and the large hoops are three inches in diameter. And it's just a matter of, you know, which one you prefer or feel more comfortable with. Go ahead and put this back in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, you guys, so that's all I wanted to talk with you girls today about. I wanted to go ahead and showcase my lovely new Cindy Dome satchel, as well as talk about my coach earrings. And stay tuned to my channel for more videos on Michael Kors. I'm going to be doing my Michael Kors collection video probably in about three parts, part one, part two, and part three. Stay tuned for that, as well as there's going to be a lot more fun coming up for you girls on my channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Stick with me for more videos on Michael Kors and other handbags, and I'll see you ladies in another video every day every day I upload handbag videos so I'll see you girls in tomorrow's video bye